Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi and welcome to a new episode of Girl Cut. Today we're cooking with two ingredients and you can see them here already. But uh, before we get started with the cooking part, if you can call it cooking, but I guess you can. As long as you have more than one ingredient, you're cooking, right? Uh, but before we have a look at them, do me the favor, click the subscribe button and check the little bell icon if you haven't done so yet. Let's have a look. We have a beautiful mackerel and we have a pomegranate reduction. So those are the two ingredients. We have pomegranate and we have mackerel and a bit of salt at the end. But let's first have a look at how we did the pomegranate reduction. So we start by cutting the pomegranate through the middle but from top to bottom. Now, this here stains a lot. Now we put it in a bowl, put your thumbs on the back and break it open. Like that. Now you take something like a spoon and just hit until all the seeds are out. Once you have removed all the seeds like this, you need to kind of pick out the, the white stuff that is left. You just go through with your hands and pick out. And once you have a clean bowl of pomegranate like this, you need to break out your blender. Just get them all in there. Put your lid on. We'll start by pulsing and then we let it run until you can hear that there's no more um, parts in it basically. That's it. Now you have to strain it. So you just need a sieve and a cheesecloth and then we pour it all in here. We want to squeeze it out. Beautiful kind of ruby colored juices. Make sure you get as much out as you can. That's it. Now we move over to the stove. So we have a little pot on, highest heat. We pour our pomegranate juice in there and we'll let it come to really hard boil. And we need to reduce it quite a lot. We want it to get a bit thicker. I would estimate it to take about 15 minutes. So we reduce now for 10 minutes and we're ready to take it off and let it cool down a bit. As you can see, it's really simple. All you need is a little bit of time. Let's prepare the fish. And when I said prepare the fish, that's not much to do with the fish either. Um, but for the plate that I'm showing you, I'm just going to use the tail and the rest I'll eat with my family. So we'll need about this much. And now this is going on the charcoal grill. But before that, we need to make sure that the skin is really, really dry. The best way to do it is just to take some kitchen paper and kind of really pat it down. and then feel it with your hand, oh, this is perfect. The point of patting it dry like that is that it will stick less onto the griddle. Now let's go grill it. So our grill is hot, we're ready to put it on. I would say about two minutes on each side. Let's give this a turn. Beautiful color. We're ready to plate it up. Let's plate this baby up. Very simple plating. Two 
two ingredients. Looks pretty fantastic on the plate. Now let's give it a try. Let's dig into this baby. Have to work a little bit for it. Mm. The skin is gonna be fantastic. Bon appetit. The sour and sweetness of the pomegranate with the kind of fattiness of the mackerel. A nice smokiness from the charcoal. Mm. The simplest thing, or the simplest things, can be so good. We have two ingredients. Pomegranate and mackerel. We use the stove, we use the grill, and this is what we get. Looks beautiful and tastes amazing. I hope you enjoyed it very much. If you did, please do me the favor, click the like button so that the YouTube algorithm will find my videos. And if you haven't done so yet, click the subscribe and check the bell icon as well. But that's it for this time. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye bye.